Hey guys, welcome to Fangs Out. This is your host Frank the Vamp, and I'm so excited tonight because we are kicking off the year 1981. Yes, if you guys like my critique of my top 10 favorites from 1980, just watch out because in 1981 we have way too many great movies. Um, it's it was a year of success, 1981. And let's go right off the bat. I'm gonna hit you with my best shot for number ten. The number ten top movie from from um, 1981 is The Fun House. And this actually is, is only directed by Toby Hooper. Yes, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Toby Hooper. Yeah, this little film got created between the one of one of my favorite vampire films of all time salem's lot and poltergeist so by why is this film not talk about the same in the same length there's a couple of reasons uh but let me just tell you that doesn't make it less amazing um you know, I already done a full review of Fan Hustle, uh, you know, which I'm going to list it below so you guys can see it in the description. But, you know, but I'm going to give you the gist of it. Um, Fan House is a story about some stupid teens that uh, decide to disobey their parents, smoke weed, and have a fun time by going to this dark, sleazy carnival. And this happens to have a dark ride called the Fun House. And, uh, you know, kids being stupid and being the 1980s thought that it would be cool to, to you know, to check out the fun house after hours and spend the night, right? He, he, the problem, there is a sideshow attraction. This uh, freak with uh, Frankenstein mask that has a murderous kind. So this freak you know, um, happens to get into a disagreement with another person in the dark carnival and happens to kill that person. And unfortunately, they witness the whole thing and it becomes a race to escape, uh, you know, the freak, go to the police before, you know, the monster kills them. And uh, being a basic story, this movie succeeds in its atmosphere. Toby Hooper creates a very sleazy carnival. The movie has a very sleazy. In the UK, it was nearly tagged as a video nasty. So it just barely escaped. Uh, but, uh, you know, but uh, the censors in the UK were really trying to... to censored this one but they couldn't and um basically it's the atmosphere is so dark i mean it's the movie just looks really sleazy and dark and if you hate clowns and dark carnivals this movie is freaking scary I mean, the, the animatronics that are around are so freaking spooky. You know, I actually don't know the history too much behind it. It would be kind of be cool to watch like a behind the scenes thing on how they came out of the design of this. But I, I want to almost bet that they were, uh, you know, this probably were taken from actual carnival rides but of a very long time ago you know so that they they some of them look downright sinister and uh, yeah and the monster itself in the frankenstein mic is actually pretty frightening uh you know where the movie doesn't succeed is when he actually takes off the mask and i'm gonna call budget here uh the makeup and the it looks really bad it's like a halloween mask and he should stay with the uh mystique of the Halloween mask and just take it out at the very end or something. But unfortunately, that's not the case. 
However, you know, The Fan House is a B movie with a, a lot of fun, stupid things, scary rides, scary monsters, and one great fun time and an awesome way to kick off the 1981 year. So there you have it, my number 10, you know, favorite film of 1981 is The Fun House. Stay tuned for more videos as we count down from worst to best. You know, my top 10 best movies of 1981. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Love you guys. See you next video.